guys. Welcome, welcome. Please say hello as you are coming in. If you're watching this on a replay, thank you so much. And if you don't mind, please uh, type in replay at the bottom so that I know that you watched it. Also, as you come in, please say hello. Let me know you're there. I don't bite. I just want to say hi to you. Also, this is my dad. He is here just for a couple more days, and then he is off again, going back to work. Um, so I am going to miss him. But in the meantime, we are going to make some kitchen towels. I am going to be decorating this kitchen uh, towel, and I'm going to be using this transfer. It says, I love hugs, I love kisses, but, I want, but what I really like is help with the dishes. So I made this on on this board right here on our board and base so i made it on here and then um, i also made a bake it and they will come and we're also going to put that design on a kitchen towel um, our transfers can be used on almost any kind of surface so i wanted to show you that not only can you put it on the board using paste but you can also put it on fabrics using inks so that's what we're going to show you today. So I am going to make this one to give away. And then my dad is going to make this one. All right. So let me put this over here. And I'm going to let dad pick out his inks. Or I'm going to see if he wants to do one of these guys. We'll see. Um, Hola, Gabby. Este quiere hacer el cake. O sea, háganlo y ellos vienen. Uh -huh. Bake it and they will yes. come. Uh -huh. O coffee and sunshine or, but first coffee. ¿A cuál? Yeah, ¿A cuál quieren? Este. ¿Este? Uh -huh. okay. ok. Ahora escoja la ink. ¿Qué color, es? ¿Qué color quieren? Mm. ¿No tienes este rosa? No. ¿Rosa? Uh -huh. ¿Y qué más? Rosa y... ¿Rosa cuál va a ser? ¿O rosa para las letras? No, para pastel. Ok, ¿qué, ¿qué color tiene para las letras? Para las letras, este... Hmm, un doradito, ¿no? Ok. ¿Qué es? No sé qué es doradito. I'm sorry, guys. Right. I'm trying to figure out what colors he wants. Hi, Nicole. How are you doing? That one is a good color. Good color. Okay. Yeah. All right, so he picked uh, pink and blue, and he's going to be making the bacon, and they will come. Um, also, guys, before I get started, I wanted to let you know that the uh, towel that I'm going to be making, I'm going to be giving away. So a couple of requirements is must uh, share this post, you must like this post, and also um, you need to also um, join my VIP uh, page. I have also put the link in um, uh, underneath. Uh, so make sure, make sure that you share, 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 because once I reach 25 shares, you're going to be getting the towel that I am making, okay? Hi, Lillian. Um, so, all right, so Dad's got that. He's got his towel that he's going to be putting it on, and mine is going to be red. Um, I, I just thought with this gray that the red, that the red would really pop. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to use our chalk couture mat. And what it does, it protects um, the ink from going through to the bottom and contaminating your other area. Okay, so we don't want that. And we want to um, make sure that that comes off. Okay, I mean that it doesn't go through. So this is new. I just bought it yesterday. So I'm going to put this right here. And what I love about our mats is that not only does it protect uh, your fabric and the ink from going from one uh, ink into the other, is that it sticks to your mat. So you see how it lifts the mats back here. All right. So that's pretty awesome. So dad is going to do the same thing. But his is the bigger one. I only have, I only have one small one and one big one. So go ahead and put your towel. Where do you, I'm putting my design at the bottom. Where do you want your design? Mm, right, right here, right here. Do you want your design right there? Okay. Yeah. Okay, stretch it out. Mm -hmm. Stretch it out. Oh, there's two there. There's mm -hmm. two. Still... <laughs> so you can do it mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. No, 
mucho, no mucho, no. porque la... Sí, eso. All right. And you want to find your center, all right? Mm -hmm. And so we normally fuzz our transfers. We don't want to fuzz these, okay? We don't want to fuzz them because we want them to uh, stick properly to your fabric, especially when you are working with inks. Um, you... The ink is not as forgiving as the um, as the paste. The paste, you can take it off and start it again. The inks, that's permanent. Wherever that ink lands, that's where it's going to stay. So you got to have to be very careful um, about that. Okay. So that's, where's that's your? The center right okay. Here. So you want to take it off mm -hmm. and put it wherever you want it. No, 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 no. no. Take this off. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Guys, so my dad had never uh, worked with Chalk Couture before, uh, but on Thursday he did his first um, Chalk Couture project, and he did it with Pace, and he did an awesome job. Okay. So this is his second project. Pro, guys, pro. Pongalo de lo que. Okay. Is that where you want it? Mm -hmm. Make sure push it down hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, push it down. Don't be scared. And then down. All right. Mm -hmm. So, Dad, be very careful. Wherever the ink lands, it's going to stain. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't want it up here, no. be careful, okay? Yes. So, here's your cake and mm -hmm. here's your stand. If you just want the cake pink, just make sure to do mm -hmm. the, this. If you want this another color, you can do it another color. It's up okay. to you. What do, what do you I want, want to do, do the whole thing. The whole thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So he wants to do the whole thing in pink, guys. Mm -hmm. Even with this. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is let, pink. Let, let us complete that. Okay. So let you're going to grab some mm -hmm. ink. It's better to yeah. make it when I do. Okay. So let me put mine on here. This is the one that I will be giving away, guys. Okay. So this is going to be awesome because whenever you need help with the dishes, just give them this towel and then say, hey, read it. Read it for me and read it out loud. <laughs> and then they're going to see what it says, okay? All right, so I'm going to place it here in the middle. And uh, right here. And so I want to press it down really hard. You can just do it with your hands if you want to. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I like to do is grab a bigger squeegee and just make sure that all the um, air pockets are out, okay? But you can definitely just use your hand. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, mine is going to be one color. Mine is just going to be red, again, because um, with this gray, I want it to just pop. And he is going to work with pink. So go mm -hmm. ahead and do yours in pink. Okay. And you don't right. have to press it hard. And just, no. Just, yes. Okay? Just okay. really light. Because mm -hmm. this is ink. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is not paste. So let me open mine, guys. Nice starting with this. Hi, Vicky. Yeah, you can start. You can do this. Mm -hmm. This is going to be in blue. Yeah. So just this. I want to come in this way. Yes. But you don't have to press hard. So Vicky, I told you he wanted to work with ink. So we're working with inks, except I didn't have the size T-shirt that he wanted. So um, another time. <laughs> Hola, Clara. ¿Cómo estás? So, okay, guys. So I'm grabbing my ink, and I'm not getting too much. I'm just going to grab a little bit, and I'm not going to press very hard, okay, because it's ink. It's just going to just absorb. That fabric is just going to absorb it, okay? And then I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down, okay? And then that's it, and I'm just lightly doing it. Guys, don't forget, share, share, share. I will be giving this uh, towel away once we get to 25 shares. Don't forget that you have to uh, like uh, my post. Uh, you have to share my post and you have to join my VIP group. Okay? Those are the requirements. So I'm going to continue and um, just very lightly, I'm going over it and I'm just going to grab ink as I need it. Be very careful, guys, with the ink. The um, Wherever it lands is where it's going to stay. There's no ifs and buts about it. It's like any other ink. Uh, it will stain if you don't want it in that area and you've um, 
accidentally got something there, what you might want to do is just consider adding like a, another design over it, maybe some flowers or just anything to cover it up. Okay, get creative. You know, it's not the end of the world if you accidentally um, get ink where you don't want it. All that means is that you're just going to have to get a little bit creative and maybe, like I said, add some flowers, anything that you want. Okay. Are you done with the pink? Yes. Okay. So hold on to it. No. Hold on to it. We're going to put the cover on it because we no. don't want to accidentally no. get it anywhere. Okay. Hold on to it. We're going to put this right here, okay? Okay, you use the other one. And then we're going to use mm -hmm. your other one. And this is for yes. your there words, is. okay? Mm -hmm. All Something right. Little bit. Yes. So, guys, again, I am finished with mine. I'm just going over it one more time, just with a little bit more ink. Again, not pressing hard at all. But I just want to make sure that there is enough ink in there and that it's all getting absorbed so that it can uh, stay on my towel. Um, just doing this, and that's it. I'm, I'm done, I'm just kind of putting a little bit extra just to make sure. Um, if you feel that you might go over on your uh, towel, go ahead and put some tape around the transfer. Uh, you know, you're not gonna hurt it, you're only protecting it, so feel free to, to put some tape around it if you feel you're gonna go over. All right, so dad is finishing up. I am going to take uh, this off, my transfer, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take it off slowly, guys. Don't just yank it off, okay? Just uh, go slowly. And when you're doing this slowly, you're also making sure that you got ink where you wanted it, okay? And that it is a good amount of ink and that um, you're not going to have to do another pass. I'm going to put this in water. But you're fine, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, no, just go this like you did right here. Just mm -hmm. go over it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me see this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this over yeah. here. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this out of here so that we don't accidentally get ink anywhere. And now we can take this off slowly this way. This way. Yeah, slowly. Okay, hold on. You see, we need to put ink. It needs to be on thicker. You need to put more ink on there. It needs to be... Um, Let it push up. Yeah, you need to do, you need to do it lightly, mm -hmm. but Not you need to, to push. It. push. Okay. Okay. And this is a reason, guys. So I'm glad this happened because this is a reason you want to go slowly when you are lifting up your transfers. Okay. If you you want to be able to make sure that you can see that the ink is going on properly. So hold that right there and then pick up the pick it up and then we see how the ink, okay put it back down we need to do the pink a little bit harder you can let it go down okay. and so we need to do just the ink a little bit harder on okay. so that way get some more paint Oh, okay, I can see that better, better. You can see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so then we just yeah. pick it up. Go ahead and lift it up, Dad. Mm -hmm. Okay, do it to the side. Do it towards the side. There you go, towards the side. Go. There you okay. go. Now just Beautiful. put it in the water. Mm -hmm. Just put it in the water. Mm -hmm. It's okay, guys. So here's the deal. Let me pick it. Let me um, just dry it a little bit so that. Um, let me get my. 
Hey, sis, how are you doing? All right, so I'm just going to dry it a little bit because it is ink, and um, I don't want it to... Um, I just need to turn on my switch, guys. There you go. All right. So I just want to dry it a little bit, just help it out. It looks super cute. The red looks super cute on this gray. Remember, guys, to share, share, share. Um, I will be giving away this kitchen towel as soon as we get to 25 uh, shares. Um, you do have to share this post, like the post, and join my VIP. I have um, added the link to the VIP. Um, Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. So you're just going to dry it a little bit, not too close because you'll burn it. Remember when you're working with a heat gun, gun not a uh, black. <laughs> Remember when you're working with a heat gun, not to put it too close to your uh, oh. fabric because okay. you can actually burn it, okay? Uh, the same for your uh, paste when you, if you're using a uh, heat gun oh. instead of a hair dryer. That's okay, isn't it? Um, that, um, that, um, it's not dry. Um, that, um, you know, if you're using the heat gun on paste, it, you, it can start to bubble. Uh, you'll see it and you don't want that. Okay. So make sure that you're, you're using it at a good distance. All right. So here is my kitchen towel. And let me, well, let me fold it like this. Isn't that cute? Now, all of these where you see little gaps, that is intentional. That is how your transfer is. It's just, you know, part of the design. So it doesn't mean that ink did not get on it. So that's mine. And then let me show you my dad's. Hold the board at the bottom. Okay. Uh, there you go. So this is my dad's, this is my dad's, ain't that cute? This is awesome for the kitchen. So he, this is his, this is, he's going to take that home with him. But guys, it's not over right there. Do not forget that you have to heat set, you have to heat set um, your inks to your fabrics. Um, you can do so with an iron. Um, just make sure you take the steam off. And by doing and by doing so, you know you're gonna get a good press. Also, make sure that you are using um, uh, uh, parchment paper. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name. But make sure that before you iron it, you put your parchment paper on top, and then you iron it. Okay, and that is going to heat set it into your fabric. Um, also. If you have a Cricut heat press, which is this uh, gadget right here that you see, that's it. That's a heat press. And the temperature that it needs to be at is 305 degrees. And what you want to do is you also, um, let me see, do I have my mat? Hold on a second. You're fine, Deb. You're fine. Um, where is my mat? Ah, here it is, Deb. Can you give me that? This one? Yeah. Okay. So this is a Cricut mat. And so what I do is I place this at the bottom, okay? And this is going to capture all that heat. Then I put my kitchen towel, okay? And then I put my parchment paper, and then I get my heat press. The only reason I'm not doing it right now is because my ink isn't too dry. So I normally like to give it about 30 minutes, and then I go with my heat press, um, put my parchment paper, and then I put it on, okay? 305 degrees, you wanna do it 30 seconds on the top, and then you want to turn it over. You still wanna put your parchment paper on there, you don't wanna burn your fabric, and do it for another 30 seconds there. And then you have your finished product, okay? And you feel free to uh, wash it if you would like. I mean, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna be using this in the kitchen, so uh, feel free to do that. Oh, Crystal, thank you. Oh, thank you, Vicki. Um, hola, Norma. Um, also, guys, um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, 
So I am wearing a shirt that I inked, okay? And a bunch of you have asked, you know, if you wash it, does it come off? So no, it doesn't come off. Um, and then the other thing is, do I have to heat set it? So yes, you have to heat set it. And this is why, because I kind of wanted to um, just see what would happen if you didn't heat set it. And so what happened, so I didn't heat set this. So what happened was, while you can see the ink and you can see everything, I can see a little bit of fading, okay? It didn't come off completely, but I do see little fading spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back, put my transfer on it, put my ink, and then I'm gonna go heat set it. So I did this kind of to see, hey, what will happen? Because I do get asked this question a lot. So what will happen, you know, if I don't heat set it? Okay, so that is what's gonna happen. Just a little bit came off. Again, um, I'm just gonna go back and redo it and then heat set it and everything will be fine. So it is important for you to heat set. While it is still there, it's just a little bit faded and you don't want faded, okay? Because I do have other t-shirts that I have probably washed 10 times and the ink looks great on it. So it does hold up, but you have to heat set it, all right? Okay, guys, so get with it. Share, uh, like this post, share this post, and make sure you get onto my VIP page. Once I get 25, I'm going to be giving this away. So if you don't have any questions, um, I'm, we're going to go ahead and just uh, end the show for today, and then I'll be back on tomorrow at 8.30. Guys, thank you so much for spending your Sunday with us. I'll see you all later. Bye.